Hi everyone, so in this video we'll be looking at the quotient rule. From our previous video we looked at the product rule. So basically, the quotient rule is quite similar to the product rule in some way. Okay, I'll explain to you the quotient rule. So first of all, given that u and v are functions of x, let the derivatives of u and v be prime of u and prime of v, respectively. So basically this is explaining the process of um, when you when you derive the function and that's how you that's what you have to do so so what is our formula so when you're doing when you're using the quotient tool you have to remember this formula and what does it mean so the left hand side is u over v so prime u of u over v is equal to prime of u times by v minus u times by prime of v over v squared. Okay, I'm going to do a mini proof to explain to you that the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So how do we do this? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to say that the left hand side is equal to, uh, just change the color, is equal to u times by 1 over v. So to the prime of this um, function. So basically, if you don't already know what I've done, I've taken this function and put it into two groups, which, as a result, is still the same thing. It's just I separated u from the v. So now, so we can use our product rule from what we learned from the other video. So product rule so using the product rule, if you don't already know the product rule, I'll write it over here for you. So it was u to v, so prime of u to v, which is equal to prime of u times by v plus u to the prime of v. So using this to solve this um, function, we can go like this. Okay. So. Um, prime of u times by 1 over v plus u times by 1 over v. So prime of 1 over v. So if you don't already know what I've done, I've just times this by this. Um, you, I'm just following this, by the way. So in the, the only difference with this and this is that v is represented in this case with 1 over v. That's why 1 over v is here. Okay. So now, <clears throat> so now we're going to just, we're just going to like take the terms together. So, oh, sorry, this should be minus. So minus u times by v dash v squared. <clears throat> and then, equal to uh, u dash v minus u v dash over v squared which is equal to the right hand side <clears throat> so basically I just did um, u to dash times by 1 over v which you get u dash over v minus and then same thing u times v or v to dash you get u v dash and then uh, over v uh, squared. So like this. Okay. So I just I wrote it down here for you, so you can see what I did. Okay. So at this point, um, I just took the the lowest common multiple, which is, is the LCM. So of v and v squared, uh, I took v squared. And so I did v squared divided by um, v squared divided by v, which I got v times by. Um, 
at the top, so, you know, you know how to do this. And then as a result, I got uh, what we got on the right-hand side. So now, you can say that the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. So now we know this is covered. We know this is this proof is correct. Um, 